My name's Nicola Heenahan. I'm the programme lead for the MSc Postgraduate Diploma Advanced Manipulative Physiotherapy. I think what makes this programme unique is that it is a practice-based programme, but it is set within a Russell Group, a Red Brick University. So research underpins every aspect of our programme, from the basics, looking at research design, um, research skills, but then really with students, with their practical experience and their knowledge, looking at the evidence that they're drawing on to support their practice. And through the programme, they're expected to look at the research evidence, to perhaps look at the, the knowledge and the learning, but always within a framework of research underpinning practice, skills and knowledge. This programme is aimed for individuals who are practising as physiotherapists within a musculoskeletal setting. Um, they may come from a UK healthcare setting or overseas. And it's for individuals looking to advance their practice or um, consolidate skills within musculoskeletal manipulative physiotherapy with a view to perhaps career enhancement, moving into advanced practice settings, consultancy, or even with a view to becoming a research active within the field of musculoskeletal physiotherapy. The programme is very varied um, and it's done with a view to where this programme is going to take individuals. The programme is structured in a way that students can do some components at a distance. So the research methods module can be taken either face to face within the university or at a distance and supported through our virtual learning environment. Likewise, the specialist blocks, the specialist manipulative physiotherapy modules, they are packaged in three day blocks. And what this allows is for cohesion around units of learning, but then with space between these blocks to allow students to go away, perhaps do some of their own self-directed learning and preparation for the next block. Within the programme, they have the opportunity to choose a module, um, an option module, and this may be taken from our diverse offering of modules within sport, nutrition, psychology, etc. And the selection there is something that the programme lead can guide a student with to make sure that their option module fits their professional development. At the end of the taught component, students have an opportunity to go and do a period of clinical mentored practice, which allows them to go into a practice-based setting and to work with an experienced mentor to challenge and apply knowledge and skills in a practice-based setting with patients with musculoskeletal dysfunction. And that part of the programme really bring, brings everything together um, to then allow them to get to the point that they've got the postgraduate diploma and then become a member of the MACP. Students then may choose to go on to do the dissertation, which most of our students do, and we're able to offer them a diverse range of projects. Um, if they're coming from a sponsor, they may choose that they do a project that their sponsor requests. But likewise, we have a strong, um, thriving community of research active staff um, who can support students in undertaking lab-based projects or systematic reviews that will help them to sort of understand research methods but also then add to the evidence base that's growing within this field. Many of our students will go on to then publish their research either in peer review journals or perhaps at conference presentations which is always really lovely to see. The aims of the programme are to allow individuals from wherever their practice is currently, be it as a junior physio or someone working perhaps in a sports setting or military setting, to come in and to critically reflect on their practice. And then through the advancement of new knowledge, uh, research skills, is to develop their practice within a framework of clinical reasoning so that they can then consider advancement in their careers pro professionally. We find a lot of students completing the programme will go on to become a consultant physio, take on advanced practice roles, perhaps clinical specialists, or some look to then integrate um, both the combination of their clinical skills and research to be undertaking research within a clinical setting. This course has now been running for a number of years. It's got a very dedicated and committed staff group contributing to the programme, with the um, being based within the School of Sport, Exercise and Rehabilitation Sciences gives a rich and diverse learning experience for students. The programme itself is externally validated by the MACP and IFONT and I think with the support that we can give individuals coming to the University of Birmingham to this school 
then they will have every opportunity to aspire to advanced practice positions and enhance career development. What I love is that the students come in with a wealth of experience, clinical experience, and the opportunity to spend time with them exploring their practice and challenging their ideas and their clinical reasoning to see them evolve as specialist expert practitioners. Um, it, it's fun, the students are enthusiastic, they come from a diverse background, and just having that time and opportunity to support them with their own development is just a, a privilege to be part of.